A tale from Pearl Abyss, Black Desert, Twins from the Land of the Morning Light. Episode 1, The Hidden Children. Year 3973, 25th under Yong Zhong's reign, second month, ninth day. It was already noon, yet the king was still absent from the morning assembly, and the royal officials went to the palace in search of him. Having heard from the Queen Dowager that she'd not yet received her morning greeting, the Crown Prince trembled with unease as he made his way to the Queen's bedroom. He found the King and Queen conversing coquettishly in her private garden. <laughs> in the midst of the entreaties from the subjects who'd come looking for him, the King said, clearly flustered, Do not let the royal scribe hear of this. Year 3973, 25th under Yong Zhong's reign, second month, 16th day. Huadam, the royal philosopher, said to the king, The coming month's end is a day unmarked in calendars of both sun and moon, the fabled day when the emperor of the heavens and the king of the nethers slumber. A millennial event on a leap year day, when neither sun nor moon shall light the sky. On that day, we shall need cleanse these lands of all its unpleasantries. The king said, My child may be born on that very day, as the queen's spirit is dwindling. Tell me, will she birth a son or daughter? To this, Hwadam responded, If she births one child, I sense it will be a prince. If they are to be twins, both will be princesses. Hearing these omens, the king grew anxious. Year 3973, 25th under Yong Zhong's reign, second month, 29th day. Two infantile cries rang out from the chamber of the midwives. Yet no one rang the copper bell to announce the birth. Quadam heard this and abandoned his work to go gaze up at the moon. <sighs> for royal twins to be born on such a day forsaken by both sun and moon, if the gods never turned a smile upon them, naught can be done to save them. He said and magically stepped toward the king's bedroom. Year 3973, 25th under Yong Zhong's reign, third month, first day. At midnight, the king secretly summoned Zhou Yikyun, the chief minister, and said, I've been told that these children, born without the blessings of the gods, are sure to bring calamity upon us all if they are spared. We must destroy all records of the queen's conception and childbirth. So I ask of your assistance, Bu Wankun. Bewildered, Ikyon asked the king. Your Highness, everyone was overjoyed when they heard that the queen was with child. How are we to erase this from their minds? Please, I beg you reconsider. The king sunk deep into thought. You speak the truth. I must not be in my right mind. Then, let it be known that the children perished in their mother's womb. Doing so will leave only a couple of mouths for us to shut. Ikyun asked, The princesses are your daughters and my granddaughters. What will become of them? The king responded, I have received counsel on a place where they can be trained. Hwadam's Wudo school is the sole path left to them if they are to live. Ikyun became deeply troubled. Your Highness. Forgive me, Buwankun. This is something that must be done. The king said, in consolation. Excerpts from the records of King Yongzhong, written by scribe Kim In-seng. 